everyone, it's Hannah, and today I have the top 13, right? Yet products of 2013 because can you believe it's over? And just like everyone says, I don't know where it was. Did have a lot of great products that I tried over the course, and it was hard to just pick 13 because products just come in and go. And I'm like, well, I mentioned this so many times, but I just gotta mention it again. So. This is just my personal opinion. This isn't like the Grammys where everyone votes on it. This is just my personal opinion on the top 13 products of 2013. Oh, and do you like the new setup? I think I'm gonna be start filming here and just like dress up this mannequin for like the current season or events. And then I have like some little, there's all my products, but I just have, I don't know, some little things. Get started with the product that I use a lot, products that I use a lot and mention a lot. And it is just Urban Decay by Scandinavia. Sprays. I have the prep spray, not on hand right now, but I do have it. I love it. You've probably seen it in my videos. This is the D Slick, also amazing. They're the only two I've tried, but I'm sure that the other few that they have are amazing too. These are just so good. I use them before, after, in between my makeup. They make, you know, help with shine control, but they moisturize my face and they make my makeup last so long. It, I can definitely tell a difference when I use this and when I don't. So if you're looking for a good something that you just need in your makeup routine to make everything better then just get one of these things okay okay on to just like a line that I've liked over the year it is the Maybelline fit me line this is their concealer which has been beloved by me for, for, for a while this is my second little tube I also have enjoyed the powder don't like the powder as much as I love the concealer and then this new shine free foundation that just came out this year it's a stick and it just looks like this I don't know if I've mentioned this a lot but I really do like it and I've been using it for a while and it is just they're really good especially paired together and they match your skin tone perfectly because they have so many different choices for shades so i'm sure you can find your shade in their selection Moving on we have two lip products the first one i'll mention here are the revlon just this just bit and kissable balm stains this is like a really bright color that i have right here i so i'm not mentioning exactly this color is like my 2013 fave but just the just bit and kissable balm stains they have matte and now they have liqueur or lacquer um, balm stains that they just came out with and I love both of those too this is just one of the originals but all of their kissable balm stains are amazing and they do stain your lips and they last forever here's just a swatch of this one right there this is in the color sweetheart the second lip product that have just been my favorites for like so for maybe like two or three years now ever since I first saw them I think two years ago it is the sugar fresh lip balm and tinted lip treatments and they also have SPF 15 in them, I didn't know that. But here's one in Cherry and you can get them clear, the clear one's amazing. They have tinted ones, it's just a mini that you can buy like in a set, which I got I got, I got them for Christmas actually. But as you can see, it is so pigmented and so moisturizing. I'll just wear this just for it to be a chapstick and oh my gosh guys, it is the most moisturizing tinted lip balm I've ever tried and they are amazing and the colors they have are so pretty and they're very well tinted if you can see. Next product I have definitely mentioned a whole lot. The Benefit Benetint. I've used mine quite a bit. I've had it for around two years now and it is it's perfection. I especially like it on my cheeks. It's like do three dots and then blend but I also like it on my lips um, but it just lasts seriously all day. All day and it looks very natural, very Simple and it's great just to have, every girl should have it in their makeup collection. Have beautiful rosy cheeks every day. Another product that are, are in a lot of my tutorials, so I had to mention, they are the Maybelline 24 hour color tattoos. Here's like a blue color, which I haven't used as much as the neutral colors that I have. Here's my most used neutral color. It is barely branded and I'm about to hit the bottom. They last super long and they're waterproof and they're so easy to get a nice look on your eyes with barely any effort and they're pretty reasonably priced too. While we're on eyes, I might as well mention my next super skinny eye marker. It is actually, I've had it for around 8 months, close to a year and it's just beginning to dry out. It is so perfect. It's perfect for if you want thick lines or little lines and I think it's also like a great dupe for a lot of high-end liquid eyeliners that I've tried guys this next liquid eyeliner is the bomb and you need to get it in again drugstore at Ulta 
pretty good price. Again, while we're still on eyes, I might as well mention these. These have been around for a while, and I didn't just get them last year, but I feel like I use these all the time on my friends, especially. It is the Naked 1 and Naked 2 palette, and I do have Naked 3. However, I did want to mention it because I just got it for Christmas, so I haven't been using it the whole year. But these palettes are just perfect for every eye color, so that's why I love using them on my friends when we have sleepovers or if I'm doing their makeup for a special occasion. Here's Naked 2. That fell out, though. But yeah, they're gorgeous. I'm sure you've seen them. I, I had to mention because I've used these so much. And if you want me to do a comparison of the Naked 1, Naked 2, and Naked 3, then tell me below. Next, I'm going to move on to two applicators. I've mentioned these both in a video. Um, but it is first this Kabuki. No, I always call it a Kabuki. It is a flat top stippling brush from Sedona Lace. It is the Sedona Lace Midnight Collection Brush 928. And as you can see, it's just flat at the top and it's very dense um, and it's just perfect for blending foundation concealer you could probably even use it for powder it is just amazing and if you could get one brush for your face I so recommend this brush it's amazing and then of course the beauty blender which I got this summer and I love it, it I don't use it as much as I use this brush but for that when you want that really nice special like, flawless face look then it is perfect so here it is I'm sure you've seen it too pretty popular. So now for a skincare product. These things I've been using for a few years and they just amaze me every time. They are the Biore or Biore Deep Cleansing Pore Strips and they can be a little pricey. However guys, they are so worth it. Like even if you don't think you have your nose clogged, your nose pores are clogged or anything, it'll extract stuff from them. There we go. You can see it. They just look like this and you wet your nose or like when you wash your face, it'll be wet. And then you just Peel this off, put it on for 10 to 15 minutes, and it extracts all this disgusting stuff from your nose. But it's actually pretty cool to look at it after and be like, that, that was on my face, and now it's not. Yay! So, as I said, it can be a little pricey, but you can get them on sale sometimes. And if, if you do find them on sale, I recommend to grab them. They're amazing. And you can also get them for, like, forehead or chin. You don't have to get it for nose, which is cool. product isn't really a product but I've used these so much that I had to mention them at first I didn't like them but then I fell in love and these they're just these um, like hmm, how do I explain this just like a fabric hair tie that you can just totally tie your hair with I think they're very cute on your wrist instead of wearing you know, just regular like hair elastics um, and they work really well and they're not supposed to crease your hair either so like I shall demonstrate. You just use it like a regular hair tie. And as you can see, you have your cute little hairdo. And it just is perfect to wear on my wrist when I have gym one day or something like that. So, yeah, they're very well used for me. And you can get these, like, a lot of places. Like Forever 21, Old Navy, American Eagle. A lot of clothing stores have them. That is all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you have a fabulous year. And that's all. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. But we do, I did. But I, I can definitely tell a difference when I, well, there, there it goes. But these things are just perfect. Not as, but I don't like it as much, the powder. I, oh, here's one that I opened already. Oh, well, you flawless place. Fall, fl keep dropping everything.